Hello all, welcome to orotainings.com. In this session, we'd want to discuss one of the subjective area in Oracle Fusion OTBI's OTBI performance real time. This is one of the subject area which Oracle provided. It has good amount of information about how many times an analysis executed, how many times like uh, it has run by a specific user, which subject area is used most of the time, which analysis is most of the time, how many records are there in a particular subject area, a lot number of analytical columns are there. So here you can observe here in the sample, what we are trying to discuss is we want to discuss for a given subject area or a given report, how many times it got executed and how many records are there in that. So here you could observe here, this is a subject area, OTBI performance real time, this Oracle provided standard subject area. Subject area name is OTBI performance real time. I've selected three columns and one is a calculated column. The first one is subject area. Next one is report name. And other one is a count function based on the username. Next one is total database row count. And this is an expected output based on the columns we selected. So let us design this particular sample now. So I'll just navigate to the Fusion OTBI. Let's create a column, create analysis based on OTBI performance real time. You can observe here, subject area name is OTBI performance real time. So I'll save the analysis first. OTBI performance real time demo analysis. So here the first thing is we'd like to select subject area, report name, and database uh, row count, facts, database metrics, total database rows. And now we'd like to have a calculated column. We can take any column actually, or you can take a username also. So let's say I'll take this one. Okay, so I'll just move it a little bit. OTBI report, user, and database metric. These are the folders we selected, OTBI report, user, and database metrics. Click on result. Now this is showing a subject area, a report, executed by a specific user and the number of records in that. But we don't want that information. So what we require is, and also let us say if you want to um, find out this information for a certain period, what we can do is, uh, so we can have a specific time period also. Let's see in our sample. These are available in the report start date as well as end date. So I'd like to select the start date or end date so that you know, we can try to reduce the information. So I'd like to select report start date. Let us say I want to have this metric information from the past one week. So I'll say filter and from the past one week, nothing but like uh, assume that today it is 27. I'd like to get all the information from the past 20 last week to, to this, okay? It's not equal, it's greater than we have to use it. Is greater than or equal to. Now, one more thing is we don't want to have the information per user. We just want to have information at the subject report level. So what we can do is on this username, click on this one, click on edit formula, click on this particular function. And now on the aggregate function, use the aggregate function called count. Click on OK. Save it. <coughs> so this appears whenever you have a huge data. What we can do is I'll try to open new tab. 
we can have you know like a the column as a prompt so that you will not face this issue, this is particular issue or maybe what i'll do is i'll try to reduce this one to a certain time period rather than one week let's say i'll select the information maybe last two days 25 26 27 we can try this again i'll try to open the report now this is our uh, report yeah still we are getting the issue okay let's see if there's if there is an issue here yeah this is the issue actually you know we don't have we have not mentioned the column actual column the column was missing so let me remove this first and uh, let's say i'll include this one edit formula aggregate and then count so here mention the column name this is what it was missing save it now i can try the results now okay you can just save again and try to open the report now i'll just try to refresh now we can observe that the subject area followed by report name followed by the total record count and the start start time and you can see like how many times is this specific report was aggregated and we can check out our report also like uh, maybe if you see the otbi performance real time you can observe that information also or what, what what i can do is let us say to observe that particular report whether it is showing or not just try to set the date to today like let's say i'll select the date as today's date and i'll mention it as equal to and just save it and try to refresh we should be able to see our report also here and you can observe here this report otbi performance real time subject area and this is our analysis right this is analysis and this was executed five times now if you observe okay so this is what about otbi performance real time and this is quite helpful when you want to find out how many reports are there like when which got errored out which is having huge data who is executing what how much time it is executing what is the starting time what is ending time you can get a lot number of metrics from this particular analysis thank you